Hello and welcome. I'd like to read to you today a verse from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. This is in chapter 1 and in verse 9 he says, Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death, but that was to make us rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. If you've ever wondered why God allows you to go through difficult things, things that would lead you to despair if it were not for the Lord. Here's a reason right here. The Lord knows that when things go smoothly in life for us, we tend to be those who rely on our own strength. <clears throat> we think that we can handle life all by ourselves. And here, Paul in his word points out to us that, that through the trials that come along, through the trials that the enemy will cause to come about in our life, the things that God allows in our life, he is allowing these things so that we will be people who trust in him, that will look to him and call on him and recognize that without him, we have nothing and are nothing. God loves it when we are dependent on him, in other words, which of course is not the kind of message that the world would offer to us. The world says that we are to be independent and strong in and of ourselves. That is not the message of the scriptures. The Bible tells us that God is our refuge and strength. It's not in us. It's not by our power and strength, but by the Holy Spirit, that we as people of God are to live. This is a reminder of that, and it's for reasons like this that Paul is one who will even find himself rejoicing in times of trial and hardship. He went through so much, and yet he found ways to rejoice in God because he knew that God in all of it was helping him giving him life, giving him strength, that even should his life be taken from him, and eventually it would be for the sake of Christ, that even then Jesus would have the last word, that Paul would one day rise from the dead. Death would not have the final word with him. And that is true for us as well. As we believe in Jesus Christ, we can know that whatever comes our way, whatever the Lord allows, whatever the enemy would bring against us, we can be confident that in Jesus Christ we are victorious, that the enemy does not get the final word, but that the Lord will have the final word with us. And so as we continue through this holy week, we take heart and we are encouraged and we give thanks to the Lord for all of his love for us that he shows us, especially in Jesus, his son, who willingly went and suffered and died for each of us, you and me included, so that we would have forgiveness in life. Today, we thank him and praise him for that. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that nothing is able to separate us from your love, that though you allow trials, though the enemy comes against us, that in you we are secure, in you we have hope and strength. Help us day by day to walk with you, to trust in you, to rejoice in all that you have done for us in Jesus, your son. We pray these things in his name. Amen. Blessings and peace to you. Thank you.